My name is Adana, and if you're new here, I am an oil painter living and working in the Washington, D.C. area. On this channel, I talk all things art. If you're interested in that sort of content, definitely stay tuned. Today, I'm going to be working on some master studies from John Singer Sargent. Uh, Sargent is one of my favorite old, old masters, and so I really wanted to do uh, a study of a couple of his works just so that I can get a good grasp of painting in my style, but doing studies in terms of color and value. If you have um, an art project that you want to work on as well while, you're, while this video is going on, go ahead and grab that right now and we'll get right into the video. One of my favorite artists that's considered one of the masters is John Singer Sargent. Considered the, quote, leading portrait painter of his generation, Sargent is really known for his a la prima style of painting. I recently picked up this book from my local library. In it are wonderfully photographed works from Sargent. His portraits are stunning in how he's able to capture the tonality of skin and landscapes that really have an impressionist feel. Also because of his a la prima style of painting, his brushwork and mark making is refined and simplified, but brings energy to life to his pieces. I'm planning to use this book to do master copies as part of my study plan in composition and brushwork. By doing master copies, I won't sell or share these paintings, maybe it's probably just clips of the process and what key skills I'm learning through the process here on YouTube, but I'm really excited to learn and share that process.
While he's known more for his portraits, I really love his works where he centers his subject in a space. Many of the stories that I want to tell have a figurative component to them, but the portrait or the figure isn't the only clue to the story. The scene, whether it's a large part of the painting or a small subset of it, will really give a clue into the story. So Sargent is definitely someone that I want to study. I think most artists, myself included, want to get started as quickly as possible. We want to sell our work, and going back to the basics to study the masters seems like we're taking a step back. But I think that there's growth in that step back. What I learn in the next couple of weeks and months could prove to be super invaluable in the total grand scheme of my art career. I have the ideas in my head, but I need my skills to catch up so that the story could be adequately and accurately told. That takes time, but it also takes going back to the basics to build up that skill set.
But that's it for today's video. Hopefully it resonated with you. If it did, leave me a comment with what you're going to do to improve in a hobby or interest area that you love. It doesn't even have to be art related. If you like my art and want to support me, then subscribe and like this video. It really helps me keep going. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.